A tennis pro is under indictment tonight for stealing money from the Centennial Sportsplex. Investigators with Metro Police and the state uncovered this scheme. It involved depositing thousands of dollars meant for the Sportsplex into a personal bank account instead. News Channel 5's Mark Bellinger joins us live there from Centennial Sportsplex tonight. I know you spoke with investigators about what happened. That's right, they accused a tennis pro who also ran the tennis center here of stealing more than $95,000. No, you're good, you're good. Blaine Smith ran the tennis center at Metro Centennial Sportsplex. In January, he was named Tennessee's Professional Tennis Registry's Member of the Year for dedication and diligence for promoting tennis. Now, he faces charges of theft and official misconduct. What would happen is people would write checks to the Centennial Tennis Center and those checks would be deposited into Mr. Smith's personal bank account. Investigators with Metro and the State Comptroller's Office say Smith admits to taking the money. The investigation looked at a four-year period from May 2010 to February this year. Smith is accused of diverting at least 79 checks written to the tennis center at the sportsplex. The money came from places like Belmont University for more than $6,400. The active TV network in California wrote one for more than 14,000. A Kentucky organization specializing in helping disabled athletes called the National Wheelcats sent more than $3,700. There were also checks written by the Ohio Valley Conference and Hume Fogg High School. The grand total was more than $95,000. He's no longer affiliated with Metro government. Metro Parks and Recreation Director Tommy Lynch says he feels responsible for what happened. Mark, I guess I'd have to say it happened on my watch. This is not something anybody wants to deal with, but at the same time, uh, there were issues that could have and should have been addressed uh, by me and my staff. Lynch says there will be changes made in how money is handled at the Sportsplex and Tennis Center. His staff is discussing whether or not to let another tennis pro handle managing the tennis complex, which includes court rentals and other business decisions. Blaine Smith apparently is still working, but not here. According to the, the uh, Brentwood Swim and Tennis Club, he is working there as a professional at Wildwood. It's the Brentwood Swim and Tennis Club. There is his picture on their website. Meanwhile, here at the Tennis Center, here at the Sportsplex, everything is, it goes on as usual. You can still rent the courts. You can still play tennis. Reporting live from the Centennial Sportsplex, Mark Bellinger, News Channel 5 HD.